Eric Marx, born in 1891, enlisted in the Army in 1910, participating in World War I. He underwent general staff training and was subsequently assigned to the Imperial General Staff Corps in 1917. Marx received accolades such as the Iron Cross Second Class followed by the First Class and was stationed at the German Supreme Command. Following the war, he fought alongside the paramilitary Free Corps before joining the Army of the German Republic, Reichsheer. From 1921 to 1933, he occupied various staff and command roles, later transitioning to service in the Ministry of Defense. Upon Hitler's ascent to power on April 1, 1933, Marx was reassigned to the Army, assuming the position of Chief of Staff of Eight Corps. He was honored with the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves. The Marx Plan, published on August 5, 1940, served as the original blueprint for Operation Barbarossa, the German invasion of the Soviet Union during World War II, as outlined in a U.S. government study from March 1955. In his capacity as Chief of Staff of Eight Corps, Marx participated in the attack on Poland and later assumed the role of Chief of Staff for the 18th Army, serving throughout the Battle of France. In the summer of 1940, Franz Halder, the Chief of the OKH General Staff, tasked Marx with drafting an initial operational plan for the invasion of the Soviet Union. Marx produced a report titled, Operation Draft East. The report advocated for the establishment of the AA line as the primary operational objective of the invasion, aimed at safeguarding Germany against enemy bombers. This line extended from Arkhangelsk on the Arctic Sea, passing through Gorky and Rostov, and reaching the port city of Astrakhan at the mouth of the Volga on the Caspian Sea. Marx estimated that the campaign, including the capture of Moscow and other objectives, would take between 9 and 17 weeks to complete. In December 1940, Marx assumed command as the general of the 101st Light Infantry Division. However, his military career took a tragic turn in June 1941 when he sustained severe injuries in Ukraine, leading to the amputation of his left leg. Despite this setback, he recovered and was appointed as the commanding general of the 337th Infantry Division from March to September 1942. Marx's advancement continued as he was promoted to the rank of General der Artillery and appointed as the commanding general of the 84 Corps. During the Allied Normandy invasion, Marx led the 84 Corps, but his participation was cut short when he was wounded in an Allied air attack on June 12, 1944, coincidentally his 53rd birthday, and he passed away the same day. He was posthumously honored with the oak leaves to the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on June 24, 1944. Marx's legacy extends to popular culture, with portrayals of his character in films like *The Longest Day*, or where he was played by Richard Munch, and in the TV movie *A Rommel*, or where Hans Kramer took on the role. His military achievements were recognized through various awards, including the Iron Cross Second Class and First Class, Class to the Iron Cross Second Class and First Class, and the prestigious Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves, received on June 26, 1941 and June 24, 1944, respectively. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal in the description box below.